Hi everyone, it's Megan. So today I have a haul for you guys. I went to Ulta, Target, and Walgreens. The first two things I'm going to show you are just some things that I got off a of hot look. And the first thing is this Lorac Breakthrough Performance Foundation. And I got this for $10. I tried it on my hand and it seems like a good match, but it looks like that. Um, I don't know the reviews on it or anything. I just saw it was ten dollars and was like, really? That's the price of like a drugstore foundation. Thing is super neat too. You like twist it and it pops up. With and I'm in the sh lightest shade they have, I believe. It's SMS one. So again, that's what it looks like, and it looks really dark in the camera right there. But it's really, it's not that dark at all. Next thing that I got off a of hot look was. Something I was super excited about and I had just recently seen Emily Noel 83 talk about it. And I was like, ooh, I, I gotta have that. And it's the Balms, the Balm Voyage palette. Um, and their packaging is always super cute. And this is a very large palette, if you can't tell. It has 16 eyeshadows and 3 blushes or lip and cheek stains, I think it says. And the thing I like about it is, if you guys have been watching me for a while, you know I complain when like a company puts cream products in with powder products because no matter what you do your product your powder product always ends up in the cream and it either ruins it or something like that and it just gets totally disgusting but this is actually really unique because if you open this top part um, it has a cute little mirror here oh well, there's a nail polish remover but it has this cute little mirror here and it has all of your eyeshadows but then if you open it down here, it has your cream products, which are, I think it says lip and cheek stains, I'm pretty certain. Um, but, you know, you can close one when you're working with one, and so they don't get mixed in or anything like that. So I thought that's really smart and convenient. And I have their Nude Tude palette, and they just, they make some really great eyeshadows. So I can't wait to try this. So I went on a little shopping trip, kind of, sort of, with one of my friends the other day because I hadn't got out of the house in so long. Um, I hate not being able to drive. But we went to Ulta first. The first place I always go in Ulta is always the clearance section because who doesn't like a good deal? And of course, I'm a nail polish hoarder, so I had to look at the nail polishes they had. And I haven't been following up with nail polish collections in a while, probably because I'm not able just to get up and go and leave the house. And this is OPI's My Favorite Ornament, and it was regularly $9, and I got it for $4.50. And it's just this really gorgeous gold glitter. I mean, I can't even get over how pretty this is. I really like gold for winter and fall. Um, it's just beautiful. And then I thought this one was so interesting. And again, it was $4.50. And it's called Wondrous Star. And it's a gold glitter too, but it has like black chunks of glitter in it too. It's so pretty. I'm way more excited over this one than I am the other one. But I can't wait to wear both of them. The next thing I got in clearance was my friend was rifling through some of the stuff they had. He found an Essence, um, I can't tell what it says, but probably Beauty Beats blush. Um, and it was only $1.50. And it's called Groupie at Heart is what it's called. And it's just this really, really bright colored blush. Um, it's coming off brighter in camera than it really is. It looks more red in camera from my standpoint. Um, but it just says boyfriend everywhere all over it. Not really sure why, but you know, and it's just super pigmented, really pretty. I was like a dollar fifty. You can't really beat that. And I've been recently into checking out Essence ever since I got their like Stay Matte lip cream stay matte or whatever they're called um i've just been in love with looking at their stuff which brings me on to the next thing i got oh they're called the essence stay matte lip cream yeah i think i said that and this one is in velvet rose and i really really like these the, the last thing i got from ulta was the real techniques miracle complexion sponge and it looks like that and it's still in here so i haven't tried it yet but i've actually heard this is pretty much really comparable to the beauty blender um, I have the Sonia Kashuk one. I bought that a while ago, like right when the Beauty Blender was a big thing and everyone started duping it. I got the Sonia Kashuk one, but it didn't do the same thing the Beauty Blender did. did. Like it never expanded. I would get it wet and it just stayed its shape. It never got bigger, smaller, like they say the Beauty Blender does. And I've seen videos on this and they've compared it. It showed that this did get bigger when it was wet and it was just as bouncy. And so I can't wait to try this and hopefully 
it's like it because I believe this was like five or six dollars which beats what 20 bucks for beauty blender so yeah so that was everything that I got at Ulta and the next place we went to was Target and I only got one thing because it was really the only thing that I wanted that I've been looking for and it's the elf matte lip color and this one is in natural I have all the other ones I was only missing natural and I really didn't want to make a whole elf purchase order right now just for really one thing so this is what it looks like out of the packaging. I love these things. And then we stopped by Walgreens. And Walgreens is like my drugstore crack. I mean, seriously. Where I got these kind of... I've heard this talked about for a while. But it's the Walgreens kind of version of the EOS lip balms. I got two of them. I got one in sugar cookie and one in watermelon. suck at opening things oh. so even though the packaging looks similar they are very different this is a lot lighter than like an EOS lip balm and it kind of has like three little squiggly lines right there let me smell this bad boy oh it's a different color too they're actually like colored oh my god this smells freaking amazing it legit smells like Oh, I'm it. I probably lick this more than I'd let it moisturize my lips. And then this one is the one in watermelon, which I really like the green. Oh, and it's pink. Oh my gosh. These smell so much better than any EOS lip balm I've ever used. This literally smells like watermelon Jolly Ranchers, which are like my favorite. I already have a feeling that these are going to be freaking fantastic. And I'm just going to literally use the heck out of them. Hey guys, so that's everything that I got on my little trip to town that I never get to take. Um, but if you guys have any questions about anything that I got, leave them down below. If you want to see any reviews or anything like that, let me know. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Bye.